morning viewer welcome to our glory globe tv as the breaking news on a scorching june night bhagwan guske okap with his jolt and decided to run for his life for the past month mr guske had kept captive in a squalled shanty in a western state of maharashtra along with six other daily wage workers the workers were hired by some contractors in the states osmanabad district to dig walls but were later forced to bonded labor which is illegal in india mr guske described the dehumanizing loving conditions of being beaten dragged and forced into long hours of manual labor with little food or water at night the workers would be chained to a tractor so that they could not escape and when they could not sleep restless from pain hunger and fatigue mr Gukse said the men would lash them with sticks and then forcefully sedate them with alcohol. I knew death was inevitable here, but I wanted to try escaping at least once before that. He said. On most days, Mr. Gukse and other captives would get so exhausted with work, beatings, and no food that they would have no energy left to plan their escape. But on 15 or 16 June, Mr. Guske cannot remember the exact date because the days had long started blending into each other. He decided to give it a try. Crouching in the darkness, he reached for the little lock of the chain on his feet, slid a finger inside, and kept twisting it for hours until it finally came free. As he clambered out of the compound, he saw a vast sugarcane field and decided to run towards it. I had no idea where I was. All I knew. I was had to get back home. I followed a railway track next to the field and kept running. Mr. Guske managed to reach his village and inform the police about the torture, following which officials rescued 11 other workers from two separate walls run by the same contractor. At first, we did not believe the laborer, but when we reached the location, we were shocked to see the condition of them. Local police official Jagdish Raut, who is in charge. of the case told bbc police say the men were forced to work 12 to 14 hours a day to dig the walls after which they were chained and subjected to repeated physical and mental torture they had no toilet facilities they had no relative themselves inside the walls they were digging and then clean and the waste to, after finishing work mr raul said most of them had blisters and deep gashes of wounds on their eyes and fit of them are undergoing treatment in hospital bendazipot glory globe to be delhi india